Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sergey Sergeyev. I'm SharePoint developer and consultant, also MVP in Office development. And in this demo, we're going to see how to set up a PNP provisioning notifications mechanism using Microsoft Teams bot. So let's go to the demo right away. And what I have here is just a regular SharePoint website. I have some, some branding applied, but what I'm going to do is to apply a site template in this menu. I'm going to apply a completely custom site template I've created before. So it is called MP Contoso Landing, and this template contains only one step called trigger flow. And this flow starts the PNP provision process inside Azure Web Job. So let's just go ahead and use this template. And while it is starting, let's see how this flow looks like. So it's not a, yeah, it's not a power automate flow. It's Azure Logic App actually. And um, this pattern is quite common when you develop a PNP provision process on top of a site uh, template. So you see this HTTP trigger. And then when we uh, when we receive HTTP request, we put a new message in a queue. And then uh, our error web job or error function doesn't really matter. So this flow uh, put a message in a queue. And then finally, our Azure web job starts a PNP provisioning process based on this uh, message. Also, we have uh, Microsoft Teams, and we have um, IT, IT team, and PNP provisioning channel here. And you see that we've just received a new uh, new card here from our PNP notifier bot, and this bot updates this um, this card. It pushes uh, the current progress with the PNP provisioning. It shows what is the current object which is being provisioned what are the total steps and what is the current step. So let's wait for a while until it will be finished. It should be quite fast. So it's the last step, the navigation object. Okay, now this uh, provisioning is completed. You can click the link to open your site. If there are um, any problems or errors during the provisioning process, then, uh, then the error card will be pushed here with the all details and uh, stack trace. Uh, this bot is fully configurable, meaning that uh, if you want to, if you want to um, see notifications in a completely different channel, then you can just type the command code configure PNP notifications like this. So the bot replied with this card where you have a button to enable notifications. So after I click enable, then the card is updated and now it indicates that for, for this specific channel, notifications are also enabled. So next time I will apply this template on the SharePoint website. So then this channel will also receive notifications from the bot. So basically this is how it works from uh, from end user perspective and from IT department perspective. When somebody starts the process of provisioning, then the IT department also receives the notifications, the status, and probably uh, the logs of this process. Uh, now let's take a look uh, how it looks like from the source code perspective, right? So as I said, um, I have a custom site template or it is called site design previously and only one site script. So basically they have this uh, trigger flow verb and that's, that's it. So nothing special here. Also we have a job, uh, sorry, job here and the bot here. So let's start with the bot itself. So the bot, if you go back to the teams, then again, the bot, uh, handles command. So when you type uh, configure pin notification, this is the command. And also it handles card actions. When I click this button, then that's the card action. That is why in the code behind for bot, we have two handlers on command and on 
card detection. If you go to command handler, then we have configure notifications command. And this command, command is quite simple. It creates the card. And this card contains the information about whether the notifications are enabled or not. Then the bot simply uh, creates a new activity or creates an output with the card. And you can see this card and you can click on this button. Now, when you click the button, then if you go back to the bot, then we handle card action. Let's see how it looks like under the cards. Configure pin pin notifications card handler. And here we have whether card action is enabled or disabled. And if it is enabled, for example, then we go here and we create this notification data object and we should store channel ID. This is important. And also we should store the service URL. We need this parameter later on in the job and tenant ID. All this data is stored inside Cosmos database. Um, if we go to Azure again, in Azure we have um, the, a Cosmos database. And basically this is the record for notifications. And when we enable notifications for a specific channel, then the code simply adds a new item into the notifications data list, and it contains all the parameters I've just mentioned. And the implementation of uh, storage is based on the um, iStorage interface defined in the bot builder. And the default implementation uses, uh, again, is that's a bot builder based Cosmos DB partition storage, which simply writes to Cosmos database. But if you have a need, you can implement your own or just use uh, completely different storage. So again, once again, when we click enable notifications, then we simply store all this data in the database. And then we update our activity, which means that the bot updates labels that notifications are enabled, and also it updates the text for for the button here. So when I click again disable, then we see that after a while this card uh, will be updated. So this is the bot. As as you see, it handles commands and actions, not very complicated. Now, if you go to the uh, pin pin notifier job, then what we have here, uh, first of all, we ha have the PNP template, and also we have a code which executes the PNP provisioning. I think you know this code, so it's web.apply provisioning template, but, uh, during the provisioning process, we also push some updates about the provisioning process, about the status, about the current step, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, using this notification card manager class. For example, before the provisioning, we send this starting card async. So, what is that? Uh, this is just a thumbnail card with some details like site URL here, uh, template name, some images as well. And then in, in this cycle, notification data. So again, notification data, this is the data. Basically, this is all the channels where we configure notifications. So we iterate over all channels and we create this connector client so connector client is um, a special class from bot builder and th this class allows us to to send proactive messages to the team's channels proactive messages means that that our bot does not reply or does not um, yeah does not reply to some to some uh, actions but instead our bot proactively pushes messages to the channel so for that purpose, we use this connector client. And then using this client, we simply create a new conversation 
and we provide uh, as activity we provide uh, the thumbnail card so how it works so this is the our initial card which is created by this method create conversation async and this card is created proactively using proactive messages from pinpin it's fire bot so the bot indicates that we we are starting the pinp provision process later on when we are in progress uh, in pinp you can specify the progress delegate uh, which will um, push notifications about current step and the progress of pinp provisioning so on every step we send the reply again a reply to this card and if you remember here um, we displayed the current step the progress uh, and the total steps so basically again this is the thumbnail card containing message progress total steps and once again we iterate over all the channels where we enabled the notifications we again use this connector client and then finally we update activity uh, which means that we update this card and we simply push different message and different progress based on the data provided from from pnp delegate so this is how update works and finally in the very in the very end of this process if everything is successful then we just send the success card if there are some problems there are some errors then we create an error card and this error card contains uh, error code and as well as tag trace and also the link to provisioning logs so the for example the it department can see that there were some problems during the provision process they can simply click and open the logs and probably uh, quickly identify where the problem is yeah so uh, basically this is it yeah just to recap we have a custom custom site template based on the logic app custom custom site template executes the pnp provisioning process and during the pnp provisioning we use microsoft teams bot and proactive messaging to push updates to the dedicated channel for example for it department to see what's happening what is the status and what is the outcome yeah so that's it from me thank you awesome thank you sergey that is super super cool love the uh love the use of iconography in that love the notifications the transparency keeps everyone updated along the way of the provisioning uh really really fantastic uh posted some links for sergey's uh article that he's written on this as well as the source code will be available to you in the blog post if you're watching the video thank you again sergey awesome job mm -hmm.